If you've played Brawlhalla, then you probably know that the game is free, and they make money by selling cosmetics that don't give you any kind of technical advantage, but they allow you to customize your look to your liking using different legend skins, weapon skins, podiums, avatar, sidekicks, KO effects, colors, titles, taunts, and more. So one quick look in the Mahala and you'll see that there are pretty much hundreds of premium things that you can buy. And there's nothing wrong with any of this. The game is free and they need to make money to keep developing it to make it better after all. But not everyone has money to buy things in the Mahala, so I thought I would make this video to bring to light some skins and items that you may not be aware of that are easy or fairly easy to acquire for free. I'm going to separate the items into three different categories and you'll understand why in a moment. The first category contains items that are the easiest and the fastest to get. It literally only takes a few seconds and a few clicks and boom, you're set. The second category contains items that are fairly easy to get, but they may take some time because you actually have to play the game. The third category contains items that are a little bit more challenging or even extremely challenging, um, or they take a lot of time to, re to acquire, but uh, they're still free items that technically anybody could obtain. So, with that being said, let's jump into the first category, the easiest items to get for free, starting and ending with the Gifts of Asgard. The Gifts of Asgard is a skin set that is acquired by following Brahalla's official social media accounts. There are five skins included in this set. The Sword of the Raven, the Axe of the World Eagle, Odin's Spear, the Katars of the Raven, and the Raven's Talon Sight. Of these five skins, only three are currently accessible. The Katars, the Sword, and the Scythe. I'm not sure why the Spear and the Axe are not available anymore, but I wouldn't be surprised if they pop up again in the future, so be sure to follow Brahalla on Twitter so you don't miss out. Links are going to be in the video description for you guys to get these easy free skins. Okay, on to the second category. These are items that are still pretty easy to get, they just take some time because you have to earn them by actually playing the game. Legend Colors You start the game with a few colors, but you can easily unlock some more by leveling each legend to level 25. The colors that you can unlock along the way are purple, orange, cyan, sunset, gray, pink, red, white, and black. All of these colors unlock instantly once you reach a certain level with the legend, except for white and black which cost 10,000 gold and 25,000 gold each in the Mahala after you reach level 10 or level 25 for each legend. There's also many other legend colors that you can get during special timed events unlocked by using gold coins and there is usually a special color scheme for each battle pass that you can unlock by leveling up your battle pass tiers. If this is a lot to remember, I'll leave a link to this page in the description so you can check it all out for yourself. Legends. If you don't buy the All Legends pack, which gives you all legends, now in future, you can unlock legends for free by earning gold coins by playing games and completing challenges and then just buying the legends in the Mahala. Technically, you can buy every legend in the game for free, but it will take a long time. Ranked Rewards. These are items that you can unlock in Mahala using glory instead of gold coins or mammoth coins. Items such as Skyforge colors, Gold Forge colors, and the Skyforge and Gold Forge weapon skins are technically free, but you have to earn them. You get glory deposited in your account automatically at the end of each ranked season, which typically lasts 13 weeks. The amount of glory you get is based on how many total wins you manage to get and your final rank, diamond, platinum, gold, etc, gives you a bonus amount. However, even if you played ranked a lot, it would still take a very long time to unlock every ranked reward item. Even so, they are technically free, so they are on this list. Okay, the final category of free items. These items take the longest or are the hardest free items to acquire, but hey, it's still free, right? Twitch viewership rewards. In 2020, Brahalla introduced a viewership reward extension for their Twitch streams. 
This extension allows you to earn free codes for many different kinds of items in Brawlhalla simply by watching the streams or leaving it open at 160p and muted in a background tab while you do other things. The reason this is in the harder to get category is because sometimes you may have to watch an 8 hour stream just to get 3 items. And not everyone has that amount of time to dedicate to a stream. Or you may have to set an alarm because a stream might be scheduled for, say, six hours in length. But it takes five hours to earn the rewards. Meaning if you hop into the stream, even an hour late, you may not be able to get all the rewards. And some tournaments give special titles or items that you can only get if you watch the tournament and possibly never again. Basically, you need to be aware of the Brahalla stream schedule if you want to fully capitalize on these free items and unique rewards. That being said, these free viewership reward items are typically awesome and range from the basic like community colors to legend skins to the super awesome and rare color schemes like charged OG colors, esports colors, special taunts, meta dev skins, sidekicks, avatars, and more. Unique titles. These are probably the hardest thing to earn for free in Brawlhalla, but hey, anything's possible, right? Some titles are actually really easy to get. You simply have to log in during a timed event. Others are earned by being the 1v1 world champion or by being a BCX finalist. And there's even one for being a partnered creator with BMG like I am. And that's pretty much every item that you can get for free right now in Brawlhalla. Definitely follow Brawlhalla on Twitter and Twitch to be sure that you don't miss out on any future timed exclusive free items as they've had many in the past that aren't available anymore. And a side note, I purposefully left out certain items that were acquired for free but are no longer available and probably never will be again but you never know. Such as the alpha and beta avatars, there's also a variety of items that you can get for free during each battle pass that I didn't go into completely because they're mostly items that you can no longer get. But definitely check out future battle passes because they always have some free items. I hope you guys found this information helpful and if you enjoyed this video please click the like button and be sure to subscribe for more Brahalla content. I always put it out there and I always put extra codes for Brahalla items in the comments of every video I do pretty much. So that's just another way that you guys can get some free items. As always guys, thank you for watching. This is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy.